what's good, people? It's your man, Mondo Ray Moore. <coughs> Courtesy of DBE. Sports works with a twist of some real ish. Shout out to team DBE. Salute to everybody, man. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm just getting off. I'm on my way to the crib. But in any event, shout out to the Hobie Ticket TV. Pro basketball sports updates. In any event, let's get to it. So, Ticket TV reported this yesterday. And, uh, yeah, and I saw, I saw, I slowly started seeing everybody else cover it. But it's crazy. He the first one that was on it. And he kind of called it. So, salute to the homie. But, yeah, let's get to it. So, Jalen Rose is divorcing, is filed for divorce. He's, he's divorcing Molly Carroll. I'm actually a little shocked. I thought it lasts a little longer, but <coughs> I don't know for sure what was going on in the background. But I'm guessing the type of person Jalen is and the opinions and views that Molly was putting out, it just, I ain't going to lie, it always made me wonder, like, damn, I understand opposites attract with this. I don't know. And let me be clear. I was an advocate for Molly once upon a time. The motherfuckers was talking about Molly need to be quiet. Don't nobody want to hear what Molly got, got to say and all that. I was one of the main people like, man, Molly can talk. Where the fuck are y'all cro Magnons from, 1950? But it's like the moment I did that, I started seeing why everybody was feeling like that. Hell, you see it now on first day. She be trying to interject herself in the conversation. Don't even be doing that when she be talking about half the time. And Molly's supposed to be a Giants fan, right? I think Molly Karam is a closet Cowboys fan. And it amazes me. Nobody's called her out for that. Talking about you want to see the Cowboys in so far because it'll ruin Stephen A. Smith's life. Don't no real Giants fan, Eagles fan, or Washington football fan wish for any type of prosperity or success for the Cowboys. Regardless of that. Not no real ones. So please get the hell out of here with that. Shut the hell up about that. Stop jocking. Quit jocking the Cowboys. Act like a Giants fan. All right. Well, let's get back on topic. And I think the uh, as far as Jalen and uh, Molly, I think the other icing on the cake was this, the, this Kyrie Irving shit. The way she came out on Kyrie. Jalen Rose was totally opposite. You know what I'm saying? And what y'all got to understand about Jalen Rose, Jalen Rose... Jalen Rose is he like he like the last of the Mohicans. He's one of the real ones. He ain't cut from that. He ain't cut from that polyester shit y'all be on. Jalen Rose he cut from that rayon silk, that real cloth. And he always keep it a hundred. I don't always agree with Jalen. Ninety percent of the time I do though. And it's just and then you know it's like Molly. Just the stuff she was saying on certain topics. You know what I'm saying? Like Jalen Rose. Now he did admit Kareem Hunt was wrong for what he did. You heard how Molly felt about that. And like I said, you heard the Kyrie shit. He felt totally different from how she feels as far as Kyrie go. But I am happy for one thing. I'm happy about another thing. I'm not happy about the splitting up. Hey, if it don't work, it don't work. It is what it is. My man had a prenup, so he good. He ain't coming out of shit. But respect to Molly Cam. Molly Cam, and I see a lot of y'all talking. Molly Cam don't need Jalen Rose money, y'all. Molly's good. Trust me. Molly Cam, she's good. She don't need Jalen money. He may have more money, but she's good. So they both good on that note. I know it's going to be awkward. They still got to work together occasionally. That's crazy. But it is what it is. I got no ill will towards Molly because Molly, she just gonna she gonna keep rising on ESPN. She's gonna.